good evening and welcome to the spring uh, the spring band concert and guitar uh, performance here at King George Middle School. We are so thankful that you have joined us here uh, for this in-person concert and we hope that you enjoy all of the music that we have here for you tonight to share. Before we get started, just two things of usual business that you all know. Please make sure your cell phones are silenced so that we're not going to be distracting the performers during the performance. And also, if you can avoid it, please do not use flash photography. Uh, it's kind of blinding to them up here. And we don't want them to be distracted. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, we are going to get started with the King George Middle School Guitar Ensemble under the direction of Mr. Noah Galbraith. Thank you all for being here. This is pretty loud. This is new, so. Uh, thank you so much for being here and supporting the music program tonight at King George Middle School. We're starting the concert tonight with the Guitar Ensemble, which just played a piece called Spanish Trio by Mike Christiansen, who we refer to in the guitar class as Guitar Bob, because he wrote all our uh, modules that we use. And you know, Christiansen is pretty long to say, so. Um, while the class is moving into their spots for the next piece, I'd also like to point out that they work together to design the shirts they're wearing tonight and our very own Morgan Brayton, who's going to be embarrassed that I called her out, uh, designed the main logo actually on this shirt, so... Yeah, that's, I think it's really cool. <laughs> She's embarrassed enough. The next piece we will be playing is called A New Day. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you. The next piece, um, I forgot my script. The next piece we're playing is a staple of country music entitled Wagon Wheel, originally written and recorded by Old Crow Medicine Show. This piece will feature Devin Archer on clarinet and Ava Persley on violin. Thank you. I want to thank everyone once again for coming out tonight and seeing all the hard work these students have put in and how much they have achieved in just one semester. Our last piece will feature Mr. Cheatham playing the cajon, and I will be accompanying the students on guitar. Please enjoy Blues and Eve.
I forgot I left this up here. Um, this first piece that we heard was Kicking Back. On Kicking Back, uh, we had solos by Mr. Galbraith. Give it up for him again. It's awesome. Both uh, Mr. Galbraith and Sam back here on the bass are doing this completely with no rehearsal. They're doing this for the first time right now, which I think is really impressive, and they're doing a great job. Yeah. Will, uh, Will had a crazy amount of experience. He had one rehearsal with us, so uh, it's still really impressive. The second piece, that's for giving for Will, that's right. <laughs> uh, the second piece we did was Big Band Theory, and because I didn't bring my score, who played a solo on that one? Raise your hand. There we go. Colin Norris took a solo as well as Rebecca Wynn on the Big Band Theory. The piece we just finished was a piece called The Lunch Bunch, which had a solo by Kyle Simbauer. And then our last piece for you is going to be a piece called Lab Report that is going to feature four solos. Uh, raise your hands again because I didn't bring my score up here with me. Billy, Hunter, Elijah, and uh, Lex are going to play solos on this one. So this is our last piece, the Lab Report. We hope you enjoy it.
Again, thank you very much. This is the beginning band, the King George Middle School beginning band. All of these students uh, only picked up an instrument for the first time this August and have come this far in just a year, which we think is really impressive. Um, the fact, yeah, you can clap for that. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's good. Uh, we're so very proud of the work that they've done uh, coming in and uh, putting this together uh, every single day and making it happen. Uh, that first piece that we played for you was Eagle Crest March. The next piece we're going to do is one of my favorites called Gathering in the Glen. Uh, before we get to that one, I do uh, want to thank a couple of the extras that we do have in this ensemble, again covering for Ms. Connor. Uh, here right next to me I have Naomi Bassage and Amelia Toms who are playing flute from the high school and we're very thankful to have them here playing with us. Again, doing it on no rehearsal, which is also really impressive. Uh, so our next piece is Gathering in the Glen. that this band is going to play uh, is a piece called Furioso. Um, when they are finished, we will transfer to the sixth grade band behind them. Uh, this piece is going to be conducted by our other conductor, Mr. Noah Galbraith.
right on. Thank you very much. Uh, before we move on to this group's uh, next piece, I do want to also recognize some of the extra people that we have assisting uh, with this group. We've seen uh, Will and we've seen Mr. Galbraith. They're also here playing percussion in the baritone uh, with this group. And then in addition to them, we also have Austin back here playing percussion as well and Ethan uh, playing tuba for us. Uh, we're very grateful for them. The next piece uh, that this group is going to play is by one of our favorite composers here at King George Middle School, Brian Baumages. He is a local composer. Uh, if you count Baltimore as local, uh, we do. Uh, so he is a local composer, and this is a beautiful piece called Colliding Visions that we hope you enjoy. We are going to move on to this group's uh, final piece. Their final piece is one of our uh, favorite ones that we've really enjoyed uh, learning this piece. And it's really unusual to do uh, a piece of this, a sixth grade level, that we as the professionals, every time we play it, we're kind of moving in the background and really getting into it. Uh, this is a fantastic piece called Adventure in India that even the professionals enjoy performing, uh, which is really, really fun. So this is going to be this group's last piece, and then we will transfer over to the seventh grade band. Uh, this is Adventure in India. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I lost my script, but it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna say the name of the piece now. That was Celebration for Winds by John Edmondson. This next piece is called As Winds Dance by Samuel Hazo. There's a little bit of a twist to this one, so I'm going to attempt to explain to you what we're doing, but I first need to get on my saxophone. Before I do that, I'd like to thank uh, the various people that, that were here that are now gone. We have, um, well, I forgot who all was here because they left, but thank you to the high schoolers that have been sitting in with us and to Mr. Daniels and Mr. Tito and Emily, who's back here working the lights, so thank you, Emily. Um, hang on, let me get on my sex and then I'll, I'll come back. Okay, so this one is special because we, we are transcending the written music on this piece where we actually added a section in the middle where each uh, section of the band gets a chance to, uh, they came up with their own compositions and you will hear them kind of featured all individually. And it'll be pretty clear where that starts happening, so you'll hear it. But all of the compositions they wrote, uh, we did not write any of them. They got in little sectionals and figured all this stuff out based on one scale, and I'll play it for you right now. This is called the blues scale. <laughs> So they took that and elaborated that in some really cool ways that I think y'all will like. Please enjoy heavy metal. Thank you. 
so much. This group here in front of you is the King George Middle School Symphonic Band. Uh, this ensemble is made up entirely of eighth graders. This is also our ensemble that got to go to our state assessment this year, where they received an excellent rating, which we are very proud of. This works group after a year off, uh, really going and getting that awesome rating, which is great for us. Um, the first piece that you heard there was Destiny Fanfare. Uh, the next piece we're going to do in our program is another one of my favorite pieces called Celtic Air and Dance by Michael Sweeney. We hope you enjoy.
Uh, before this group moves on to their last piece, uh, one of the things we always want to do is just say a couple of thank yous before we let you get out of here. Um, a couple of the ones we want to thank, first of all, our administration here at King George Middle School, who is enormously supportive of everything our arts programs do. Uh, all throughout this school, we have really high support of the arts. So our principals, uh, Dr. Bush, uh, Mr. Schaefer, and Mr. Or Dr. Nice, uh, we appreciate them so much and everything that they do for us. So can we give them a round of applause, please? The next one I want to thank is, again, just the directors that you've seen on stage. Uh, again, Ms. Connor, who unfortunately couldn't have been here, did a tremendous amount of work in preparing this program. Uh, we hate that she couldn't be here to celebrate it, but again, we're wishing her a, uh, a lot of health and a quick recovery. We also have uh, Mr. Galbraith and Mr. Daniels, if you can poke your head out. I know he's sitting down. He's like, oh, i got to stand up. Uh, but the Mr. Daniels at the high school, Mr. Galbraith here, they're great. These concerts would not run nearly as efficiently without them, so we appreciate it. Uh, we've already thanked our high schoolers. I don't have any in this one, so I can skip that one. Uh, we also want to say a special shout out to Dave Higgins. Dave Higgins is our band parent president, and he's also up in the box recording this concert, so thank you very much, Dave. I know you can't see him, but I can. We appreciate you, Dave. Thank you. And then the last one, before I shut up, play the last piece and let you go home, um, is that she's unfortunately not able to be here tonight because she's at home sick, but I always feel the need to thank my lovely wife. Uh, being the spouse of a band director is never an easy thing, uh, but she does it and takes everything in stride and is amazingly supportive of me, which lets me do awesome things with this program because she takes care of me. Um, so she's not here, you don't have to clap for her, but I'll pass it on uh, that, that she is appreciated. She's lovely. Uh, thank you to her. Uh, our last piece that we're going to play for you here is uh, Crystal City Overture. At the end of this piece, we're going to get this band off stage, and then if your students are still here, you can exit through and find them in the cafeteria, and then you can go home, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for being here and supporting the arts in King George. This is Crystal City Overture.
Thank you so much. Get home safe, and we'll see you at the next concert. Bye-bye.